Welcome back to our channel and we got something good for you today. We are on board one of my favourite ever Sunseekers, a Seaport 43. And this is a fantastic example of a Seaport, triple engined. Come with us, we're going to give you a full tour and see this boat running at speed. Okay, so as I mentioned in the introduction, the Seaport 43 is one of my all-time favourite Sunseekers. So why is it one of my all-time favourite Sunseekers? Well, lots of reasons. It looks fantastic. The layout really works for a great weekender, perhaps a bit longer if it's just a couple. And it's just one of those boats that just works. You see straight away at the stern of the boat here, you've got a really nice arrangement. You've got these two nicely sized single sun pads. Great for enjoying the afternoon close by the water. I love the design of the back here, the way it's got these sweeping lines that follow all the way down to the swim platform. But it's just something about this particular model. We get certain boats that just really work well, and this is one of them. These sections here actually tilt forward to give you a bit more comfortable sunbathing. So if you are using these sections to sunbathe, you can tilt right there. And you can see, you know, that's a great, a great place to be for the afternoon. It's only morning, so I better not sit there all day. You've got access to the engines underneath here. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, there was a couple of different engine options on the Seaport 43, but this is sort of the creme de la creme. This is fitted with a twin, a triple, sorry, uh, Yanmar 315s. And this gives this boat a fantastic amount of performance. We're going to show you that in a minute. But you've got access to the engines both sides. So you can lift up these sections here and get direct access onto the outboard engines. Of course, the central engine is underneath the floor here, which can, if needed, be removed. But it's a, it, it's a nice feature. There's a bit of options of storage in there as well. I really like as well the way the uh, cockpit was designed. So in the cockpit, you've got this lovely wraparound seating section, but for safety reasons and to give you that bit more practicality, this central seating section actually lifts up with an integral seat base and a backrest to give you like a transom gate and also extend your seating in the cockpit. It's a really clever idea and we'll show you that in a second. You might notice in the video just how good the upholstery looks. So the upholstery was redone very recently by a company called Sandbags Upholstery and Pool great company to deal with we've dealt with them quite a few times and they really do do a fantastic job and this is factory spec upholstery it really is and it's beautiful if you look at the stitching the way it's done the actual material is diamante which is used on new sun seekers now and it is a really really nice quality even with the seaport 43 branding still in the in the cushion there as it would have been from the factory if i just jump now down into the seating area we'll cut to some b-roll but it was a table fold away table so it's a really clever system you move this cushion base lift up the back and then the table folds out we'll cut to that in a second and that gives you then the ability to use this area for lunch, coffee, breakfast, even a bit of work, whatever you wanted to do. Under the floor here, we've got a bit of storage. So there's some storage underneath there for paddle boards, maybe even an outboard motor, that type of thing. So that's a really practical space as well. You'll notice this boat is really nicely looked after. Everywhere you look, it's immaculate. The, the radar arch is in really nice condition. Often it's an area on these 43s that can suffer, but this one's in really good condition. You have to excuse the uh, helicopter flying over the top of there. Speakers obviously in the radar arch. And then you've got overhead lighting, low level lighting, which is actually remote control. And that gives you a really nice place to be in the evening. If you want to, and you're in harbour or you're in a marina, you can completely enclose this space with the camber covers. In fact, we've taken them off this morning. This particular boat has a special uh, aft section of the camber cover. It's almost like a tonneau that goes on top of the radar arch and is much easier to remove than using the overall big bar. But the client does still have the big bar arrangement if you wanted that. Port side, we've got a Sunseeker wet bar. So we've got the hot and cold tap there. There's also a bit of area there to prep any food. And then you've got a um, fridge, a bit more storage. So it's a really nice, sensible area to use when you are entertaining people on board to serve the odd G&T or a beer. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a bit of an overall look at this cockpit and just how practical it is. It's a 43 foot size boat, so we've got plenty of beam here. Okay, so I'm up at the helm now, and this is another really special place to be. If you've ever done any sea miles on a Seaport Hawk, you'll, you'll know there's a certain feeling you get when you're at the helm of one, whether it's a 34, 48, but especially this 43. The bolster seats you've got here are fantastic. They really do sort of lock you into position. And I've got great visibility forward. I've got that beautiful stainless steel windscreen, which wraps around the whole of the, the windscreen. And that's the hand, and you end up sort of driving with one hand here. This boat's actually got the Morse race control. So as I keep referring to, it's a triple engine boat. That's why we've got so many dials here on, on the dash. You can see here I've got triple rev counters, I've got triple of everything, triple temperature gauges, triple oil pressures, and it's, it's a great, really nicely done. It's got carbon fiber uh, backing to the dash, which is all in brilliant condition. So this has been a UK boat from new, and as I alluded to earlier on, it's had a fantastic owner history, so it's always been really well looked after. Down here on the lower section of the dash, which is all nicely designed and very ergonomic, we've got the uh, Raymarine E120, one of my favorite chart plotters so easy to use and this has all been customized in the wood of black surround as has the depth gauge the st60 there as well so when this boat was built 
so much thought went into the presentation of it and just how special it needed to be. I've got a bow thruster down here. I've got uh, obviously operation for the drive. So these are Yanmars, but they are running through Mercruiser drives. So that gives you the opportunity here to lift the drives. And of course, there you've got the beach function on there. The steering wheel position itself is it's good. It's to hand, it's where you want it to be. I've got these teak grates here to give me a little bit of extra height at the helm. These can be removed if you are really tall, but it is good because I can sit here, I can get myself either just above or just below that windscreen for the wind deflection, which is really nice. Some of the earlier 43s um, had a control panel to operate the systems. You'll know if you've looked into it, some of those can have their problems. This is one of the later boats and it's got, you've got the uh, carling rocker switches, which is really nice to see. So these are all located down here, which easy operation. So I've got nav light, horn, battery crossover, all those types of things there. Simrad VHF radio. So this pilot's really, um, pilot, this boat's really designed for when you're running, you've got a co-pilot with you and they can operate the uh, char plotter and the VHF. So yeah, a really nice location to be. So as you can see here, we're up on a plane now, we're running really smooth. And that's one thing you notice in this boat, it's just how smooth she runs. And we're running here at 25 knots and it's absolutely effortless. The boat really cuts through the, the wake we've got here, or the waves we've got here really nicely. And I've got great visibility. It's really exhilarating to be out in the fresh air and feel the power of that triple engine just pushing you along. It's surprising in this boat just how much distance you cover so quickly. And those race controls give you fantastic flexibility over the use of that power, they really do. And if you are getting into you know, really higher speeds and difficult positions, they give you that complete control. Okay, so we're gonna start picking up the speed now just to see what this boat's off top end. Now when the boat's really clean and she's just going back in the water, she'll do 50 knots. At the moment, we've got a bit of growth on the hull, but we will get to certainly high 40. This boat is a performance sun seeker in every way, and it feels like it. Doing this sort of speed on this type of boat gives you all the confidence. So after that exhilarating ride out of sea on this Superhawk, we're now down in the combination space. And for those of you who haven't been on Superhawk 43 before, you'll probably be quite surprised at how much room is down here. So traditionally Superhawk's accommodation has been pretty tight, but actually the 43 was the first in the range to actually make a slightly more comfortable area to stay on. So you've got a nice uh, forward bed here, which is a good size double, which is easy to get in. So you can see I'm stood on the steps there, but it's a, it is genuinely an easy berth to step up to. Now this particular boat doesn't have a table. Most of them will have a table, but this one doesn't. But this seating area is a good size. You've got some storage underneath these seating pads here. And something you may or may not know is the Seaport 43 has a bunk bed. So this section lifts up and he says, hooks onto here like so. So you can actually sleep four people on this boat. Now, admittedly, you wouldn't want to put an 18 stone gentleman up there, but if you are a, a family cruising on this boat, you can sleep on board with two smaller people or children quite comfortably on there. You've got these large hull windows, so it's letting lots of natural light in. The boat's finished with a cherry wood satin finish. Um, which works really well in this space. And there's lots of typical Sunseeker detailing in here. So I really like the louvered details on the vinyl. The galley arrangement here is really nice. So you've got some storage above the galley. So you can see here this boat's obviously in use by the owners. So there's some personal effects around, but you can see you've got cutlery um, and storage space underneath here as well, and a fridge. So it does work. I mean, I'm fairly standard height. Okay, I can't quite stand up, but I can all pretty much stand up. It's not too bad. And the heads on here is also a really good space. So in heads, we've got a nice, um, electric flush toilet with a, a nicely arranged sink there. So the boat does work to stay on. In fact, indeed, the couple that do own this boat do stay on it. They do stay on for periods of time. So it does work. You've even got a television here, which is um, you could update if you wanted to, but it works fine for a DVD, TV, whatever you want to do. You, hopefully that surprised you a little bit, the accommodation line. So we couldn't leave this boat without showing you under the engine hoods. We're back in the marina now. We've been out to sea. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing this boat running. It looks stunning, I'm sure. It's great to be able to lift these engine lids and just see these engines in great condition. They've been really well looked after by the owners of this boat, they really have. She goes beautifully, she looks fantastic. She's got the practicality you've seen from the cabin space. This really is a boat that covers so many different types of boating. Great value for money, really, when you think about it in relation to what else is in the market for this sort of price point. As I'm sure you'll agree, this is a really special Seaport 43. She's available for sale with us. Please do get in contact. Our details are below. We'd love to speak to you. We can talk to you through her ownership, any specific requirements you might have. And for more photos, get in contact. And don't forget to subscribe. We really appreciate all our latest subscribers and our viewers. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.